we've all seen the news. It seems like this could be Rudiger's final season at Chelsea Football Club. However, my friends, life must go on. And in today's video, I'm going to break down seven top centre-back replacements that can replace Rudiger for next season. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. But before we continue on, let me get one quick plug out the way first. Today's video is brought to you by Spitch the ultimate football fantasy manager game new on the market. Spitch is a football fantasy manager app where you can build your own team from leagues ranging from the Premier League to the Bundesliga to the Championship, plus much more. Play for free and compete against your friends and communities where you have the chance of an up to 70k on a weekly basis. There are competitions on a weekly basis that are not just based on the season. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the app works and how you can get involved in competing against your friends and communities and in weekly basis competitions. Choose your contest. Of course, I'm going to pick the Premier League. Scroll down until you find the three options to play. And then once you do, it's very straightforward. Pick the formation that you want to use. I'm sticking with the 3-4-3. Uh, it's come in handy for us a few times. And then once you do, pick your first 11. And this is where Spitch comes in to help the user because they have a very powerful statistical analytical tools to help you pick the very best players based on performances per week. They let you know how each player's action is reflected by a score given to the player. Now your budget is 150 million, so pick very wisely. You guys can see the lineup that I've chosen and once you do that, all you have to do is select your captain and obviously in this team, it has to be Mason Mount. Big disclaimer, of course, you must be 18 plus to be able to play, try speech and to play for free. All you guys have to simply do is click on the download link in the description and in the comment section as well, and you can test your managerial skills and ability. Now, getting back to the video, we kick this list off and let's talk about Bastoni of Inter Milan, a left footed defender that plays on the left hand side of a back three. He made his name under Antonio Conte and has proven to be one of the best young defenders in Serie A and one of the best young defenders in Europe too. He's known for his incredible distribution out from the back. He has that weight of pass which is really key to separating the excellent distributors compared to the good ones. He plays balls between the line, he plays passes forwards and on top of this he is equally adept at carrying that ball upfield. This is crucial when it comes to creating wide overloads on the left hand side and it's important for breaking the press as well just like what Rudiger does for us already. Inter Milan paid 31 million euros to Atalanta to sign him as an 18 year old and with reports from Italy suggesting that Lukaku has suggested Bastoni to Chelsea Football Club, Lukaku thinks his former teammate is destined to become one of the best in the world. He's 6'4". He matches that technicality with the physicality as well. He could be the perfect Rudiger replacement and with Inter Milan previously being forced to sell key players, could a big offer tempt them to sell again? In my opinion, if we look to target any under 21 year old defender across Europe and don't give Cole an opportunity, this could be another stupid club decision that's made. After seeing the likes of Mason Mount, Reese James, Tammy Abraham and Tamori transition from life in the championship to competing at a top four level at Chelsea Football Club, all playing key parts in securing us Champions League football, which meant next season after that, we actually won it. I think that's all the confidence in the world we need that our academy really is the real deal. Considering the strides that Trevor Jalabar has made for this season as well, especially after coming from Lorient in Ligue 1, not giving Colwell an opportunity next season could be absolutely criminal, considering he may be the best Cobham centre-back product ever since John Terry. He's having a great season on loan at Huddersfield right now. He has all the perfect conditions. He's six plus, his frame is big as well. He's incredibly fast too, but most importantly, it's what he does with the ball on his feet. He plays so many line breaking passes with his peach of a left foot. He has that Rudiger run off field in his locker as well. He always looks to instigate and start the attacks by playing positive forward passes time and time again. And is imposing airily, as well as he is when it comes to his ground duels too. He's a left foot defender as well. It would be criminal to not allow Coral to be Rudiger's successor for next season. Now let's go to Amsterdam and I want to talk about Lissandro Martinez of Ajax. 
Now, yeah, he might not be the most physically imposing player, but don't let that fool you into thinking that this player is not serious and tenacious when it comes to winning that ball back. Martinez has excelled in many different positions playing for Ajax, playing as a DM, playing in CM, playing as a left back too, and currently finding himself playing as a centre back now. His tactical intelligence is on another level, and with how our season's currently going right now, how he would dream to have a player like him that can fulfil many different positions to an incredibly high level. Martinez has been one of the key best players for Ajax this season. He is an outstanding, incredible distributor of the ball, which is very important when you're using a back three system because your defenders have to be creative on the ball as well and kickstart those attacks. He has already recorded four assists this season. He's press resistant, composed under pressure, combative and a top class distributor as well. He could potentially be that player for next season that we would be grateful to sign. Now for the next target, at only 20 years old, he's already clocked up over 100 club appearances already. I'm talking about Badia Chile from Monaco. He towers at six foot three, he dominates airily, and he wins a high success rate of his duels on the ground. When it comes to that technical play, he has a wand of a left foot, and of course matches that with great composure as well. Badia Chile is a great player of amazing potential and we must remember that because his game is not complete at this point in time. Sometimes he does make the wrong judgement and the wrong call, sometimes he lacks in concentration and sometimes he might make the wrong decision. However, these are all things that can be coached and can be improved upon. Let's look at Rudiger for an example. From the player that we first signed to the player that he currently is right now, he's gone up a ridiculous level. Badia Chil has all the right components, he reads the game well, is fast and aggressive in the tackle, there really is a top player in him, and he goes from strength to strength every single season. Are we planning to raid Monaco for next season? And now we move on to a Thomas Tuchel target, and that's Maxence Lacroix of Wolfsburg. Lacroix is stupidly ridiculously fast. His style is, is that he's an aggressive, proactive defender. He looks so engaged further up the field to win his ground duels, win those tackles and help kickstart counterattacks. And these are the qualities that Tuchel expects from his centre-backs. We see it time and time again from Christensen, Aspilicueta and Rudiger as well. That means that you need to have the ability to be comfortable, you need to have that ability of reading the game well, to be able to leave your defensive line to engage further upfields. So it's no surprise that Lacroix has a very high ground dual success rate and it's no surprise due to his frame and his recovery pace too. Now he's not normally one to kickstart attacks from deep and instead preferring to play quick short passes to the ground to find his teammates instead. He's good on the ball but again due to his age this is another player that can be worked upon and improved upon in the future. At 21 with bags of potential as well and a player that could be available on a very affordable fee, could Tuchel get his man? Let's now discuss Dutch international centre-back De Ligt of Juventus. With reports suggesting that Juventus are looking to sell De Ligt to get him off the wage bill, is this the perfect opportunity to make a move for the defender? He plays on the left-hand side of a back four for Juventus. He had some learning difficulties last season, but for sure is another player that is one for the future, as he's demonstrated his elite class potential time and time again, and he's played in many, many big games at such a young age. Of course, he still has some learning to do as well, However, he does tick a lot of boxes when it comes to being airily strong, strong in his ground duels, fast as well too, and is very comfortable playing out from the back as well. Reports in Serie A suggest that he is the highest paid player, with figures ranging from him earning 280k per week to him earning around 8 million euros per season. De Ligt would cost a ridiculous amount of money to sign if he is a Rudiger replacement. But again though, with rumours suggesting that Juventus are possibly willing to sell him to get him off the wage bill. Could Marina strike her magic again and help us find a way to sign him at the price we want? And to end with the final target, I'm sure you guys all expected this player to be on the list and I'm talking about Jules Kunde of Sevilla. He came incredibly close to signing for us last summer. However, Sevilla changed their minds last minute because they weren't too happy with the final transfer fee that they already agreed on. Now, reports are saying that Sevilla may be open to dropping their valuation to cash in the player this summer, could Kunde finally achieve his Chelsea dream? Now Kunde is top class 
at carrying the ball upfield and dribbling past his opponents. This guy goes all the way. He accumulates over one dribble per game and he has that little bit of that David Luiz flair to his game as well. With how we play, we could potentially have an incredibly dynamic right hand side with both Kunde and Reese James taking turns moving infield and moving outfields, creating tons of havoc down that right hand side. Kunde could be the perfect Aspilicueta replacement and even though he is 5'10", please don't let his height fool you. He has a very sturdy hefty frame. He has an incredible leap as well. He knows how to time his jumps perfectly too, so he's never caught lacking. And one of the benefits of his short frame is that he has that low center of gravity, which allows him to keep up with any winger, any striker, which would be perfect for defending the counter attacks. That small frame allows him to get his body in front of the board too, getting the positions that other players just aren't able to get into. Is it any surprise why he has such a world-class ground duel success rate I don't think so. This deal was basically done last summer until issues came up. Could this be the easiest Rudiger replacement on the list? And on that note, you guys, they are my top seven Rudiger replacements. In the comments below, share your thoughts and opinions. Do you like the sound of these players? If not, say in the comments the players that you prefer to see as a Rudiger replacement yourselves. And on that note, I'm in the EFC. This is Blue Lions TV. I'll catch you guys later with some more videos. Cool. <laughs>